And then in my third year, or my senior year rather, I talked to John and I said, well, what do you think we should do? And I remember we were at a conference. I think we were at one of the CAS conferences in New Jersey, I think. And he said, well, have you ever thought about creating an ancient pantomime? And I said, I don't even know what that is. And so that started a year long research a thesis project where I developed uh, essentially a chamber opera because it was done with a full chorus and then uh, a single pantomime artist that was in, stood in front of the chorus and danced the story of Narcissus, also from Ovid. And for my thesis, that had to be me. <laughs> but And I am not a particularly good dancer. I'm sure the video exists somewhere. Um, but after we did that initial trial at Binghamton University, we started to put together the funding to do it for real with the television station. And once again, uh, the Classical Association of the Atlantic States funded our work to uh, collaborate with the Tri-Cities Opera Company in upstate New York, along with um, Doug Baum, who's one of the principal dancers from Complexions, which is a big dance company in New York, and then uh, WSKG, which is the PBS affiliate. And so we worked in a television studio to create an ancient Roman pantomime for TV which we thought was the best way for us to try to reimagine what this form was like. It's a 2,000 year old form of theater that no longer exists. And we wanted to try to put it on its feet just to see what, what was it that, that appealed to the masses. And by putting it on TV, we were able to get the scale for the first time that they might have because pantomime would play for 30,000 people in an arena and you can't do that in a theater anymore. I mean, as far as you can in a stadium, but you know, for our budget, putting it on TV was a smarter choice. So right. it was cool, it was a, it was a great a great experience. Um, and we learned a lot of lessons about how to create, uh, how to use the classical world to create meaning today. I feel like, uh, you know, at the beginning of every single one of my processes, there is a question, do we try to do this as authentically as possible? Are we trying to, to understand almost histrionically like what physically happened? Or are we trying to recreate the effect of the form? And I have found so far that what really interests me is trying to understand um, not just the academia of it because there is scholarship that exists for it. The theater maker has to turn it into theater and has to hopefully convey the dramatic meaning of, of what this is on a piece of paper. You know, part of the, one of the interesting problems with ancient Roman pantomime is that none of the scripts exist. They, they, we just don't have any, we have, there's no existing record. And one of the reasons that we, they think that that's the case is because it's a form of dance. People didn't need to read it. People saw it. It was not considered high art, like, you know, the great tragedies. It, it's cheap theater, it's popular entertainment, it's TV. And um, honoring that uh, is really important to me.